The quest to catch monster fish is underway on the St. John River and its tributaries this weekend. Rainy Cookie says it was a wet start to the annual Muskie Derby. It was a wet start to the 20th annual Muskie Derby. While the wait stations were quiet, there was still a buzz and a large number of entrants for the event. Yeah, we have a lot of people interested again this year. Um, right now, uh, the number is slightly down, but we haven't counted our online registrations yet. So we'll only know the total on uh, Saturday around noontime. But, but we're expecting about 300, like usual. Grand Isle area was a very busy place with people loading and unloading their boats. Scott Haggerty of Presque Isle has had derby success in the past. Two years ago, I ended up winning the derby. Uh, got, you know, quite a few places on the board, and we, uh, we had a really good time and uh, got really lucky. Haggerty's son, Zach, was also fishing solo and he said there's a key to success. Persistence. You gotta put in time and deal with the rain. It's a lot of luck. You just kind of drive or drive the boat all over and hope hope one's hungry. There's a lot of luck to it and the right lures and the, the fish have to be, you know, temperamental kinda. Fish have a thousand ten thousand casts, they say so. Jesse Pelletier of Madawaska spent the morning on the water but was calling it a day and we'll be back tomorrow. I enjoy it as every day. If I could be out here, I'd be out here, but uh, this weekend doesn't look too promising. Water's dirty and uh, current's quick. That rain didn't help any. Scott Haggerty says the rain is having an effect and could make for a slower weekend. It's gonna be very good fishing this, uh, you know, for this three day event. It's just uh, water's really, really, really high, as you can see. <laughs> He also said there are a lot of good anglers taking part in the annual tournament. A lot of good fishermen that come to this, you know, from all over the United States, you know, pretty much more northeast probably. But, you know, guys across the border can fish and it's an international musky fishing thing, right? So. Pellet here has been fishing for musky all season and has had some luck, but he wouldn't let us know where his favorite fishing spots are in the area. Yeah, my spots are called secret spots, <laughs> but no, anywhere in the river is a good spot. The quest for the $2,000 top prize continues through Sunday, and by then there should be plenty of fish stories to share. Rainy Klukey, News Source Sports.